today I'm gonna finish this painting up and so I'm looking for things that didn't quite get finished. Um, I'm touching up things like the background. I'm deciding how I want that to be. Right now I've started to kind of paint uh, like the back edge of where I want the table. Although I don't really like having a line going right through the page. So I'm eventually going to blend that up a little bit into the wall area. But for now I'm just kind of laying this in and eventually I'll come in and blend that a little bit. I want there to be a little bit of texture so I'm not going to blend it all the way. I'm going to eventually uh, lay some more whites into the background so that I can have my shadow stand out a little bit more. Um, but right now I'm kind of just trying to fill, the, fill up the space. You want to make sure that there's no little white dots anywhere. You want to make sure that every little shadow and every value change is addressed. You want to step back away from it sometimes and just see if things look even. Like I noticed like on this little cup, it it's a little bit uh, asymmetrical. I need to work on that and so I'll kind of continue to kind of keep doing that. And I'm adding a little bit more highlights in the areas that need that. I'm just kind of moving around the page and this is kind of how you work at the end. You know, I'm coming back to that cup a little bit and working on that. Um, intensifying some of the values so it might need a little bit more value coming in some areas. So it's refining. It's looking for those little things that maybe didn't quite get done. Maybe you noticed some spots that really needed to have more paint added to that area. And at this point, if your painting is starting to get dry, you may have to add another layer on top of it. Uh, but you can do that with the oil paint. Once it's dry, you can completely paint over an area. So if you need it to blend again, you'll just come back in. You might need to come in and add a little bit of like cast shadows in some areas um, to define between different areas. So all of that should be looked at. So again, we're just in that refining stage. In one of the earlier videos, I had said that you could overpaint some of your objects into the background a little bit. At this stage, you can kind of come in with your background values and define around them and kind of trim that off so that you don't have those little white dots around things. Just kind of come in and make sure that you're getting your values everywhere. And you can keep working the different values into your background until you're happy with it. And you can decide what kind of texture you want it to have. Do you want it to be very smooth? Do you want it to have a little bit of a texture? Do you want the values to change slightly? Remember when you want to blend to keep cleaning your brush. Now I'm starting to blend that background into the wall a little bit because I don't want it to have this like sharp line that cuts through the painting but I did want there to be a slight difference so that's an aesthetic decision that I'm making as you can see I'm starting to kind of like pull in and bring in a little bit more light into some of the cloth so that I can bring out some of the shadows. I'm defining some of the little shapes. 
And I'm just kind of moving around and looking at it and seeing what still needs to be done and fixing that up.